Good morning, Plumstead, and welcome to a really, hopefully, quick segment just explaining how the daily question will work. I got a few questions from from teachers and students alike with just some, you know, quick questions that maybe weren't made clear by me. So this will be your troubleshooting guide and all around basic how-to trivia GMP guide. For starters, there are six, ooh, I can do that, whoa. There are six categories of trivia questions, entertainment and celebrities, geography and nature, history and religion, science and inventions, sports and pastimes, the arts and music. Uh, as many of you have figured out, this is a team-based game. Teams of, uh, of one, two, three people are encouraged. Uh, faculty members and teachers are encouraged to join in as a team. However, there are rules for teams that are put in place. First, the team rules. Faculty members and teachers may not be on the same team as students. Unfortunately, this is because of handbook issues and such that I would like to not deal with. But you can, however, as students at least, form a team of whatever type of student you want. If you want a 6th grader, an 11th grader, and a 7th grader on a team, you can. You can pick anyone from 6th to 12th as long as they are a student and it does not exceed the three-person limit. Along with this, teachers can have any staff members or teachers they want on their team. Uh, you, you should come up with an appropriate team name and stick with it for the rest of the year unless you decide to drop out at any point, in which the, that case you should let me know beforehand. As I said earlier, you cannot have any more than three members on a team. As well, team mem teams cannot work with other teams and trade answers just because, you know, you're trying to win. So I feel like that would be a slightly no-brainer. And to keep, to keep it fair, GMP members cannot be on a team, nor can they form teams. Do not try to ask them because they will say no. And only one answer is required for each team, and I will get into how to answer later in this. But on to game rules first. First rule, and it's the most important rule, do not use the internet. This makes it unfair for the other teams and makes the contest just overall not fun. If you are found to have used the internet, we will take one point away for every time you use the internet. Just don't cheat, please. Daily questions, which will be Monday through Friday, are all worth one point. The first Wednesday of each month, so we will actually be starting this in October, will be an impossible question. These questions are the most difficult of them all and are worth five total points. Also, I realized I missed question or missed rule four, so, and it goes back to the other one. GMP members cannot and will not answer any questions or give hints. Don't try to ask anyone. Answers must be submitted before 3.30 p.m. every day. Any answer submitted after that does not count. Questions will be set on GMP live streams as well as in the link in the as well as in the description of every live stream. And I am currently working on getting that getting them posted throughout the schools, uh, school through the TVs. As well as answers to the previous question will be revealed the next day. As always, have fun. If you have any questions, email me or ask me. Scores will be updated, updated outside the GMP hall every day. It's on that little whiteboard near where the lunches are usually sold. There are prizes. Uh, they're not, you know, your average cheesy prize. However, this month is a large box of candy or bar of candy of your choosing. However, they, they will hopefully get much better from there. Now. Onto the part that a few people had questions about, which would be team registration and how to answer questions. So first off, there are two forms on this website. It is team registration and it includes the team rules. 
and there's Daily Trivia, or GMP Daily Trivia, which has the game rules. This first one, team registration, you will use only for forming your teams. And I need a team name and at least one name, one team member name. It should be first and last, just so I can, you know, mark it down on any scoreboards. This will only need to be filled out every every time a new team is formed. So if you want to continue the next month, you don't need to. However, if you need if you have to, you know, let's say you don't want to play this month, but you want to play next month, you will fill this out at the beginning of October, if that makes sense. Now for this one, this is where you will make and this is where you will form your answers. All I need is your team name and the answer to the daily question. So for example, um, let's say you, and I will, you know, let's say, for example, you are the uh, Plumstead Panthers. Let's go with something basic. And the answer to the question of what's one plus one is two, that's all you need. And then down here is this handy dandy submit button. You would just press that. It will give you this message this makes sure that I know who sent it so that, you know, someone, I don't get two answers from the same team or whatever. This just makes sure that I know who sent it in. So, okay. However, I will not be actually doing anything. And the same goes for this. This will, this will also be recorded for email. Very same reasons, just so I can keep track of who answered or who sent it in what. Um, also, this the link to this website will be found at the description in every live stream. I recommend checking it out. We've got a bunch of stuff that I'm not going to go into because that's a whole nother rabbit trail. But if you any questions, usually can be emailed. You just email me for any questions you have that might not be explained here or through this video. Or if you, you know, have any difficulties with something, like let's say the website's down, just email me and I will try to fix that. And with that, I will now resume your daily announcements.